Greetings and a, a joyous Rosh Chodesh. Today is Rosh Chodesh Ador, and the Talmud tells us Mishenichnas Ador from the time, the day that the month of Ador comes in. From that day, throughout the entire month, Mar Bim Besimcha, we increase our joy, increase our happiness. On the other hand, during the month of Av, which is the saddest month of the year, when Tisha B'av, the day, the anniversary of the destruction of our temple takes place, the Talmud says, Mishinichnas Av, when the month of Av comes, Mima'atim v'simcha, we reduce our level of happiness. What is the difference between Ador, increasing our happiness, and in the month of Av, decreasing our happiness? I suggest the following. Increasing our happiness means focusing on the blessings that we have, the God-given blessings. Decreasing our happiness, I suggest, means focusing on what we are missing, what we pray for to come, but what we're missing, like the holy temple, like a whole united Jewish people, peace and serenity in the world, love among our fellow Jews, one for another. These are things that we yearn for. We know we don't, we have some of it, but we're majorly missing. That's the month of Av. In the month of Adar, thank God. Focus on the gifts that we have. Survival of the Jewish people, an amazing miracle. The gift of every single day, the gift of life, the gift of a breath, the gift of our bodies, the gift of our, of our relationships. There was a Jewish strong man in the early part of the 20th century, in the late 19th century, uh, in the Yiddish speaking world, he was ah, uh, he was uh, the strong man. He was called he was called the the Samson of the Jews. His his name was Shia Breitbart. Shia Breitbart started out his career as at age four <laughs> when he assisted his father as a blacksmith. Shia Breitbart grew up to be so strong that he was able to bend metal with his own hands. He was able to bang a nail in with his fist. He, he went on, on uh, uh, travel tours. And I, if you look online, you could see a, a, a parade in the city of Krakow um, in, in 1920, escorting him into the city where he's going to display his strength. He got sick, and he was so sick that he was not even able to lift up a pen. And a writer wrote, oh, the hands that were able to twist metal, those hands can't even hold Rav, Rav Yerucham Lebovitz, the giant Torah educator, Torah mentor of the yeshiva of Mir, when he, he heard this. People think, oh, what is a great miracle? Yeah, if somebody could take metal and turn it with a bear, turn it with his bare hands, that's a great miracle. But to be able to hold up a pen, no, no that's not. That's just there. It's the same miracle, says Yerucham, Reb Yerucham. Without God, you couldn't even lift up a pen in your hand. Wow, what blessings we each and every one of us are endowed with. Mishenichnas Adar Marvim Besimcha. When Adar comes, Rejoice! Thank God for the gift of life and for all the blessings that he gives to our people and to each and every one of us.
so many things that we can do, so many things that we can accomplish, the joy that we can feel, all blessings from Hashem out of His love. So I have a question. The, it, it, the Talmud says, when the month of Adar comes in, increase your joy. When the month of Av comes in, decrease your joy. So <laughs> what about the rest of the year? The rest of the year, God wants us to take the feelings of the month of Adar and the yearning of the month of Av and combine them and feel them at the same time time. Let us then remember the joy of this coming month and appreciate and focus on all the gifts that God gives to the Jewish people and to each of us as individuals and carry that joy throughout the year and combine that joy with a yearning for the beautiful things that are yet to come. Unity of our people and shalom al Yisrael, peace for the Jewish people and peace for the world. And may we merit to see, just as in these weekly portions we studied in the past three portions of the construction of the tabernacle in the desert, which is the forerunner to our holy temple, may we merit to see. May we see it with our own eyes, the rebuilding of the third temple and peace and joy all over the world. Wishing you a joyous month of Adar, a beautiful Purim, ushering in the month of Nisan, the month of miracles, the month of Pesach. Have a fabulous Shabbos.